Just not roasting on an open fire Everybody knows A turkey and some mistletoe Although it's been said Many times, many ways Merry Christmas my channel so today I'm going to do a chatty get ready with me and this is kind of a easy special event makeup look because the eye look is really simple and easy so for today's makeup the brushes that I use is from this website called new dress this website I think it's from China and they have like all things that you could possibly need like they have clothing shoes jewelry bags um, beauty tools like brushes and then I think they also have like makeup so it's really great and everything is really cheap and they usually have like you know 50% off 70% off a lot of it like below five dollars it's really amazing especially if you guys are on a budget I really recommend this shop they kindly contact me and I pick this brushes a 15 brush set and the thing that I love about this it's not like your typical brush set that have like you know your slim foundation brush your big powder brush it's really different and uh, every single brush is really multitasking as you guys could see here they have like you know the tapered powder brush that similar like from Sigma and Zoeva and some higher brands and it's super duper soft like oh my god honestly guys you have to touch it to feel how soft it is if you buy any brush sets out there like BH Cosmetics or Coastal Sense they don't really have this variations of brushes it's really amazing to have a brush set that have like this contour brush this like um, taper brush for underneath your eyes to you apply your powder to set the concealer then they have like this super duper big powder brush that is quite like tapered at the end so it's a really multitasker brush you can use this for you know uh, bronzing up your face apply your blush and of course applying your powder and they also have the eye brushes so they have like this blending brush they have the lid brush I also use one of the eye brushes for applying my highlighter I think it's only for like six dollars I really forgot how much it costs but I will link the link to this brushes down on the description box and also the link to the website if you could get your hands on this get it because it's so much more worth it than any of the brush sets out there and I also picked out a skirt from there so I will include the clip when I show you my outfit and if you guys want to see how I achieve this look just keep on watching okay so the first thing that i'm going to be applying is the makeover hydration serum and i'm just going to apply that much and this primer will moisturize my face because i have dry skin especially around my nose and my mouth so the next thing is foundation and i'm going to mix city color glowing complexion illuminating cream i'm sure you guys have seen me using this pretty much all the time and i'm going to mix it with the cover girl outlast day fabulous Three in one foundation because I want my face to be super like dewy and glowy today. I'm just going to have a pump of that foundation. I'm just going to um, mix it with my hand. And by the way, guys, I have already done my eyebrows because it will take me forever if I do it on camera. So I already mix it and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it and concentrating that on the center part of my face because that is where we need a lot of coverage. And I'm just going to use the um, like a duo fiber brush that they came out with. Okay, so now that my foundation are done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade 15 Fair. And I'm gonna use this as my cream contour, no, cream highlight. 
and then I'm just going to buff that with this one this is like a shadow brush but it's a lot bigger and it is thin so it's great for buffing out your concealer I'm also gonna apply that to my lid as a base and to conceal all the veins there oh my god I really like this brush it's really perfect for buffing your concealer because it's not too dense and it's not too like flimsy sometimes uh, if I use like a denser brush it kind of hurts my under eye this doesn't do that so next I'm gonna go ahead and do the cream contour and I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Dark Cocoa and I think I'm gonna use the same brush just because I like it that much okay so now I'm gonna set everything I'm going to use the elf contour palette and then I'm gonna take the yellow shade I'm gonna be using this big brush and it like tapered and it's so soft so it's really like easy to move your brush around and then for the other parts of my face that I don't apply concealer I will apply the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to set everything and I'm going to use this super duper humongous brush so I'm just going to tap that to my powder and set everything oh my god it's so soft <laughs> next for a powder contour I'm gonna be using the NYX blush in the shade taupe I think I'm gonna use this brush I totally forgot to contour my nose so I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Conceal again and I'm just gonna like make a thin line because I'm telling you this concealer is really pigmented especially if you use it for um, contouring your nose I'm gonna set my contour nose contour with again the NYX blush in taupe I think I'm gonna use this brush I think this is meant to be a shadow brush like to apply eyeshadow or pigments or whatnot I think this is not really necessary but if you want to have that you know sharp nose contour this is perfect so for my bronzer I'm gonna use the NYC smooth skin bronzing face powder in the shade sunny to give an extra warmth to my face I'm gonna use the The Body Shop blush number 03 so I'm gonna use the brush that I used earlier for my under eye powder so I'm just going to dip the brush to the blush and then apply it to my cheeks today I'm gonna use the Mary Luminizer and I'm gonna use this brush and it looks like this I think this is meant to be a crease brush like a do for the MAC 217 but this is so much bigger and I don't think that I, this really fits to my crease because it's too big so I'm gonna use it for applying my highlighter oh yes 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 honestly guys you really have to get this brushes it's so amazing and so cheap and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my nose and you can switch it like this so it fits to that you know bridge of your nose really nicely and I'm going to apply it also to my cupid's bow a bit to my forehead and chin I'm going to zoom you guys in to do the eye makeup so the first thing that I'm going to be applying is Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade creme brulee then I'm going to use this fluffy blending brush to apply it to my crease as a transition shade next I'm going to be applying this pink from the sleek oh so special palette I'm gonna use the different blending brush I'm just going to apply it on top of the creme brulee onto my lid actually I think I'm going to mix this one and this one I'm 
I'm going to blend everything with the blending brush I think I want a, a bit of a shimmer to my eyes so I'm gonna apply this like pink champagne color Next, I'm going to tight line with the Maybelline Master Liner in black. Because we're going to put on some falsies, I'm going to line my eyes with the Hyper Sharp Liner by Maybelline. And I'm gonna go ahead and curl and apply some mascara. I totally forgot to put on eyeshadows to my bottom lash line. So I'm going to do that right now. And they have like this... I don't know, eyeliner brush or brow brush and I usually use this type of brush to apply eyeshadows to my bottom lash line and I'm going to use that mauve shade I actually cut my falsies into this individual lashes kind of thing so I'm going to apply it randomly okay guys so I'm back after three years applying my false lashes and now I'm going to apply the last part which is lipstick and I'm going to be using the Revlon matte lipstick in the shade mauve it over number 003 this is just a really beautiful peachy mauve color and then I'm going to spread some elf mist and set and this is the finished makeup look I actually really like the eye makeup it's really simple and easy but because of the really feathery lashes so guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching as always don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one bye